And now that's recording. Yeah. Okay. Recording, recording, recording. And marker and action. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Chukimon from Keeping It Casual to force him to get into CEDH. I'm Chukimon. Um, I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Make videos on rules interactions. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Chukimon on Slicer's Workshop. Tyler is playing our patron Young Mox's Harvest Animar list. Cam is playing Magda Expo. And I'm playing Attracts of Food Chain. Yeah. Any free games? Nice, Jinx. I will draw War Room, Soul Ring, and go. Draw Bloodstained Mire. I'll go to 39, get a Taiga, Wild Cantor. Say go. Draw Treasure Vault, cast a Soul Ring. I'm actually going to pay two mana for a clown car. Wonderful, I got two odds. For each odd result, create a 1 1 clown robot artifact. Did you get all that white clown <laughs> robot artifact creature tokens? Great. That's really fast. Draw card. Tropical Island. I also have a soul ring, which is kind of crazy. Swamp Cycle, a troll of Kazad Dum. Kazad Doom, not dumb. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying out the one mana like cyclers so far. I've actually since taken this card out of my attracts list, but I've kept some of the other cyclers in the list. I've been liking them a lot. I think these cyclers are the real deal. We yeah. talked about it in a podcast pretty recently. Yeah, go listen to that. Scrubland is what I will find, and then I'll pass my turn. Untap, draw, Plaza of Heroes, get Slicer out on the backside. Go to combat, Dylan, three at you. Go to three, seven. Flip, Slicer, ship turn, give uh, Tyler my Slicer. Here's a Slicer, draw for turn. Guy okay, at Cradle is land for turn. Cast an Atwind Liberator. There's combat. Cameron, I'm going to attack you with the Slicer since you have two one ones there. 34 and six Slicer damage. Pass the turn. You've got a slicer. Draw. Let's go to combat. Attack Tyler with slicer. I will take six. Go to 33. Six slicer damage. Second main. Cast a morph. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. You get a slicer. Draw card. Play the scrub land that you know about. Go to combat. I think it's right to attack Tyler. I will take another six. Go to 12 slicer damage. Cast a Dranith Magistrate. Pass my turn. Untap. You get a slicer. Draw. I'll do gold vein pick. Gold vein pick is a great one for slicer because no matter what, whoever deals the damage, Chukimon still gets those treasures. Move to equip slicer with the gold vein pick. Combat. We'll send this at Dylan. Not blocking. Take eight. I'll get two treasures. I will pass the turn. Give Tyler my slicer. An arid mesa for turn. Crack it right away. Volcanic Island. I'm very frustrated that I cannot cast commander. Sorry about that, Tyler. That's okay. I'll just attack you with slicer. No, no blocks. 21 and 19 commander damage. This game is hard. I'll get two treasures. Walking Ballista for access to pass. Draw for turn. Got a slicer here. Move to combat. Tyler, I'm going to come at you with slicer. Declare no blocks. I keep wanting to attack Tyler because he has an on the board effect to remove the slicer that he's not yeah. using. We're trying to like make him do it. Yeah, like so get rid I... of this thing so we can play the game, Tyler. Uh, right? <laughs> Take eight. Go to 20 slicer damage. Two treasures. I am at 18. I'll play Adaptive Automaton, named Dwarf. I will pass. Untap, upkeep, get a slicer. Draw a card, I'll go to combat. Tyler, I'll attack you with slicer. Block with Walking Ballista. I'm gonna try and kill the Automaton. All right, Automaton is dead. Pass turn. Welcome back, slicer. Untap, upkeep, draw. Jessica's will, second is treasure and and soul ring. Target Cameron, reveal tangle wire, a desperate ritual, city of traitors off the top. And add five red mana, play the city of traitors. Desperate ritual, I will add three more mana. Brotherhood end, doing three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. That's really good. <laughs> uh -oh. I will cast assassin's trophy, targeting the slicer in response. That will resolve. Basic lands. Crack Wild Cantor for a mana and sack Outland Liberator targeting Goldfang Pick. So Brotherhood's end resolves and Dylan and I have no creatures now? I will recast Slicer Combat. Come at Dylan. I'm dead. That will be my turn. Untap. I get a Slicer. Draw for turn. Let it strand. Crack it. Go to 17 and go get a Tropical Island. You can use that Trop Island to play a Llanowar Elves. Siren Storm Tamer. Combat, Cam, I will attack you with this slicer. I'm at 12 commander down to 28. Pass the turn. Cameron needs a new pair of shoes. What the fuck? You have a slicer. Play command beacon. We got the one ring. Tyler, I will come at you with slicer because I have to, not because I want to. Block with the Siren Storm Tamer. Because I have to, not because I want to. <laughs> I will pass the turn then. End of turn. Braid that Lana War Elf. It is dead. Untap. Get my slicer back. 
Draw, Goblin Engineer. I'll put a Sword of Fire and Ice in the graveyard. Combat, Slicer at Tyler. I will die. I will pass the turn. All right, on your end step, I'll activate the One Ring to draw and put a Burning Counter on it. What a weird game that the two mono red decks are the last ones standing at the table. What the fuck is going on? My upkeep, I'll lose a life going down to 27. And I'll draw. Draw two more with the One Ring. Oh, I have a Slicer too. I have Slicer. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give you the slicer. Play a mountain. I'll attack you with slicer. I will take six from my own commander. This is kind of an interesting decision. It doesn't seem like it should be because, like, why would you give the slicer? But if Chukimon doesn't give the slicer, it's going to turn over to its non double striking side, and he still wants a fast clock right now. 34. Two red off of a right of flame. Cast Magda. Karn the Great Creator. Plus Karn up to six, targeting one of your treasures. Lose a treasure. Pass the turn. Untap, draw, send slicer at Karn. While we're on attacks, I'll crew the clown car, make a treasure. I would like to block it with the clown car. It is blocked by a clown car. I just want to say real quick that this is a huge moment right now. The fact that this clown car allows you to keep your Karn alive at this particular moment in the game, it makes the world of difference. Just pay attention. Just watch. Pass. I'll lose two to the one ring, go down to 25. Yeah, I'll give you my slicer. Plus up Karn to make the one ring a creature until my next turn that has indestructible. That seems like the perfect slicer blocker. I'll go to combat. I'll attack you with slicer. Block off my engineer before damage. I will sack a treasure. Return sword of fire and ice. Buried ruin as my land. Crack the buried ruin to return clown car to my hand. I'm only going to pay one for clown car this time. So I roll one D6. And it's an even, so I put a plus one, plus one counter on Clown Car. Pass the turn. For the end of turn, I will activate War Room, lose a life, draw a card. Untap, draw. Oh, you have your slicer back, too. I will pass, I guess. Yeah. On your end step, I'll crew Clown Car, make a treasure. I'll put an activation of the One Ring on the stack, draw three cards. So then you, the slicer converts since you didn't do the thing? Yes, it'll be on the back. Nope, that's not how it happens because that only triggers on the beginning of each opponent's upkeep yep. is when that happens, not right now. One ring triggers. I'll go down to 22. Hold out settlement as my land. Plus up on Karn to make the one ring a creature again. Let's go to combat. I'll attack you with Magda, make a treasure. I'll take two. Imperial Recruiter on the stack. I'll go get Dockside. I'll tap Hold Out Settlement to tap Imperial Recruiter to make a red mana and then make a colorless here and cast the Dockside. Any responses to the ETB? Yeah, I guess I'll activate my War Room. Lose a life, draw a card. Yep, nothing there. Cool, so I'll make another four. Activate Magda. Find a Clock of Omens. Cast a Liquid Metal Coating. Use Liquid Metal Coating to make Magda an artifact. I will use the Clown Car and the Clock of Omens to untap Magda using Clock of Omens ability. I'll then tap Magda and this treasure to activate Clock of Omens to untap Magda, creating a treasure in the process. We're in a loop where I can make an infinite number of tapped treasures and end with one untapped treasure. It's not infinite, it's like a, a, but a, just a big amount. A large, a large. Like, yeah. Like huge. Think of the biggest number you can. And then times it by 420 billion. And then subtract a couple, cause that's too big. Sacrifice five treasures, go get Skargan Hellkite, which I will have come into play with a plus one, plus one counter thanks to Riot. Magda activation that will sacrifice and find me Academy Manufacturer. So every time I go through the loop and create a treasure, I'm also creating two other artifacts I can use to untap my treasures. And then that way I have untapped treasures infinitely so I can put them into Skargan Hellkite and deal two damage divided as I choose among one or two targets. Can't do anything about that. You got it. Good shit. Karn MVP. Clown Car, MVP. Clown Car won me that Clown Car is the real. What? Karn won you the game. <laughs> Clown Car. Honestly, yes, Karn was good, but Clown Car, it protected the Karn. Like, it was the main reason you were able to continue doing that with Yeah, Karn. not only did it protect the Karn, but it made two bodies that protected me a ton in the early game. There was just so. no reason to attack you because you, you could just block with a Clown Robot. Like, it didn't make a difference. We could at least, like, do damage to each other and... Slicer just changes the whole dynamic of the game. That was it a really sweet game does. either way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chukimon, for joining us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. And we have a new patron, Joseph Ahrens. Thanks, Joseph. Soul Cal Acura, Storm Cool Bean Man, Luke Cook, 
AJ Albusebi, Demon of Roz Grease, Kawaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you'd like to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Big shout out to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below in the description to pick up all of your Dragon Shield needs. Follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Let's talk about our $50 patrons. Katanis, Cassius, Mitchell, Shepard, Justin, Leon, Sala, Stephen, Shalakte, TP15, Pedro, Jacob, Dapp, Yon, Wild, Fred, Thomas, Guido, Swampy, Leggy, David, Justin, and George. Oh, this video and last week's episode was edited by Cyrus from Mental Misplay. Well, mo I mean, the game part of it was. Well, I edited this part right here. Um, but yeah, thank you, Cyrus. And also go check out Mental Misplay. <laughs> You're only getting credit for what you did, Cyrus, I, I and did, nothing more. I did some of it. Don't you forget. <laughs> Those graphics with the decks and stuff, me, baby. <laughs> Last night I got to play another game of CEDH with some very solid players, so I really appreciate them allowing me to play a game with them and learning so much from the experience. So I played against Magda, Animar, and a Traxa Grand Unifier last night. Players were super nice and really helpful and very friendly, and it was a blast playing with them.